I hope you know that you and Ron Zabini are the embarrassment of the city, not us. Wow, strong words from a Brighton City Council member who left that voicemail for a fellow councilman in light of alleged petty politics. Newly elected Councilwoman Ashley Henderson left that two-minute message for Councilman Lonnie Murray. This was after he and Councilwoman Rhonda Bean left a special called meeting last week. We're told they left that meeting because it didn't start on time and they couldn't meet quorum. That prompted the voicemail that Councilman Murray defined as threatening. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle joins us now in the newsroom with the latest on this saga, Stefan. Sherry, what seems obvious here is a power struggle between a 25-year-old mayor whose very election was challenged and the divide of young first-time council members versus those who have served for years. And with it comes a continued war of words. I got a phone call from one of the city council, threatened me on my cell phone, put out information about me was she was going to say to my wife, and I, I don't appreciate that. And the next time you come for me, I'm going to come for you. Don't call, don't tell me to call Hoover, because I'm going to call your wife, and I'm going to tell her what you're doing. I'm going to get the citizens to tell her what you're doing, like she don't know already probably don't know. Things got personal and bright in what appears to be petty politics between old and new. A power struggle about how to move the city forward. You hit it dead on the head, you know, and... And that's been going on ever since he's been in office. When you are Councilor B, don't even come back to City Council. Let it all play it out like you're trying to do. Don't come back. Don't show your face. Continue to not answer the phone. And the next time you come for me, I'm going to come for you. With what Murray described as a threatening voicemail, I caught up with Councilwoman Henderson to ask about the message she left. And I do not take back anything that I've said. Um, <clears throat> and he, he can find, they could find so many ways to not show up to council meetings to conduct any business, but you can show ways to be unprofessional. My, my voice speaks for itself. I don't have to prove to anybody. Although she advised him not to attend any more meetings, Henderson said he is more than welcome to return as long as he isn't. And you're going to focus your attention on, on not being productive. Please, don't waste the city's time. Don't waste our time. Stay at home. Now, I spoke with Mayor Brandon Dean, who was out of town at this time, and he said he fully agreed with Councilwoman Henderson's voicemail, while Councilman Murray stressed that the younger members on the council have no interest in listening to what they have to say. Live in the newsroom tonight, Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News.